In a very interesting turn of events, the IRS has issued guidance on a lot of the electric vehicles that are going to qualify for the full $7,500 tax credit, but more importantly, what vehicles will not qualify. And there's some fairly popular ones that actually are losing their entire credit, mainly the one we're talking about today, Model 3. My personal vehicle, my pride and joy, I love this freaking car. In my opinion, it's the best Tesla because it's the cheapest Tesla, but that seems like it won't be the case much longer, and this is not a rumor, this is not a leak. Tesla themselves is actually actively tweeting this out saying that both the rear wheel drive Model 3, the best one, and the long range Model 3 will no longer qualify for any federal incentive. So it's all going to fall down to state rebates if you want to get something cheaper. But that's a pretty substantial cut in affordability. And on top of that right now, Tesla is offering six months of free supercharging to anybody who takes delivery of a Model 3 before the end of the year. And of course, if you use a referral code like the first link in the description, not even my code I'm just helping out some of my viewers but if you use a code like that you get three months of free full self-driving which is the equivalent of six hundred dollars so just take it it costs nothing extra to you it's just like free FSD so might as well have it and at first I thought okay video done I could probably make this into a YouTube short but then I realized there's a lot more context people should probably be aware of so not only is Tesla offering a lot of inventory discounts right now on model 3 so you're actually able to find brand new ones okay in inventory available for delivery for a little bit over $35,000. So wow, it took Tesla a few years to actually hit that, but these are $35,000 Model 3s that still qualify for a $7,500 tax credit. So can you believe it? Everyone used to be complaining about how the Model 3 isn't actually thirty five dollars Now, after incentives, it's more like a $28,000 value. That is absurdly good, by the way, for everything the Model 3 is. I know we talk a lot about startups and new exciting trucks and solar vehicles and yes I'm very excited for the future of EVs but at the end of the day a lot of people just need a car and they don't need it to do anything super fancy or special they just want it to work and they don't want to deal with gas and as a Model 3 owner for the past year and a half I can attest this is an amazing vehicle tons of storage space very fast plenty of range especially the rear wheel drive because it still has a decent charging curve and you can charge it up to 100% every single day unlike the long range it's just overall an amazing vehicle and I've never seen a deal that this good on the automotive market which is why I thought it's a good time to make a video about this because I don't think we're gonna see prices for the Model 3 new at least this good for a very long time and that's because it's easy to get caught up in all of this tax credit talk and all of these low prices and forget about the imminent refresh which has to be coming to the United States shortly it's already launched in Europe and Asia and Australia and all these other places the refreshed Model 3 with the updated interior updated exterior better range better suspension, ventilated, cooled seats, a rear display, capacitive buttons if you care about that, a more responsive UI, less road noise getting in the cabin, so many upgrades all in one single generation that we know Tesla has been upgrading their factory line for. We've been spotting the upgraded Model 3 driving around in the United States and because I think a lot of people are holding off for that refresh, that's why Tesla is likely seeing a slump in Model 3 demand. So that's why I think Tesla is pushing this so hard right now. I I mean, it's true that they're going to lose the $7,500 tax credit next year. So the price of affordability for the Model 3 is definitely going to shoot up quite a bit. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, well, why do they not qualify? How come the Model Y is going to continue to qualify? Why don't they put, you know, the same 2170 cells that they're putting in the Model Y into the Model 3? That way it still qualifies for the credit and the Model 3 can still be affordable. Well, my personal guess is that all of the 2170 cells that they're building at Giga Nevada are going towards Model Y assembly because it's a higher price vehicle, but more importantly, it has much better margins. Tesla knows that the average American is willing to spend a bit more on more of a crossover SUV style vehicle because those are far higher in demand than typical sedans. I don't know why, but they just are. People love their hatchbacks and the Model Y is gonna continue to be the best seller. So they wanna make sure that that qualifies for the tax credit. But the downside of that is it means there's not enough 2170 cells to go around for the Model 3. So for the past few years, Tesla has been using Chinese made batteries for the rear wheel drive Model 3. That's why they're lithium iron phosphate, my favorite battery chemistry. But even for the long range Model 3, which is not LFP, that's still using 2170 cells, but they're 2170s imported from Panasonic in South Korea, which means they don't qualify for the federal tax credit. I don't think the margins are as good on the Model 3 for Tesla, so it doesn't make sense to divert 2170 cells away from Model Y assembly, even if that means that the Model 3 is going to go up 
up in price but again the reason i think tesla's okay with this also is because that imminent model 3 refresh is just around the corner and that's definitely going to spike up demand because it's the biggest refresh basically in tesla's history because it's on an affordable model that a lot of people can actually afford compared to the big model s and x refresh which was exciting and cool but so expensive it was not really meant for the masses whereas the model 3 is one of the best-selling vehicles globally and there's a lot of upgrades and a lot of changes all happening at once and i think tesla is going to make those changes early in 2024 and because they're making all those changes the price was likely going to go up anyway and i've been saying for a while now i'm pretty confident that once that refresh happens the model 3 is going to be a more expensive vehicle than the model y which a lot of people think that's weird why would tesla do that the model 3 is a sedan model y is a crossover well if you have all of these upgrades like the ventilated seats the better suspension the better road noise the upgraded look and the better aerodynamic efficiency the better range the model 3 will actually have quite a few features and advantages over the model y and that's how they'll probably be able to justify that higher price plus when fremont is going to be shut down for a while for these model 3 upgrades that's going to limit the overall supply of model 3s they're not going to be able to build as many of them so naturally when demand goes up and supply is low tesla typically reflects that in the price so i don't think tesla's worried too much about the model 3 no longer qualifying for the tax credits because they knew the price was going to go up regardless but maybe they weren't expecting it to lose the entire $7,500 credit which could mean that originally they planned on like increasing the price for the model 3 but now that they know they're not qualifying for the credit maybe the model 3 prices will just stay the same and you won't get a point of sale rebate or a tax credit but you will get a far superior vehicle than the people who are buying model 3s right now so I hope I didn't confuse you even more because you have to kind of ask yourself now what are you looking for in your next vehicle if you want it to be a tesla of course and you're interested in the model 3 you're probably going to get a much better deal right now especially buying one from inventory with that free supercharging those price cuts and the tax credit it's just going to be an insanely good deal i actually have several personal friends that recently took delivery of model 3s because the prices are so good right now but simultaneously there's a decent chance that model 3 is going to be the pre facelift like the last people buying the old-fashioned looking model 3 in a couple of months and if you're very very interested in that refresh then it might be worth the wait even though you should be aware it's probably going to be a much more expensive model 3 because it's not going to get those federal incentives and there's even a chance tesla increases the price to compensate for the high demand if you want my personal advice i would still say that the current model 3 is good enough it still has gear stocks if you really care about that and i don't think the existing model 3 design is bad by any means and if you care about having like like the latest and greatest thing and you're worried about that like oh no my model 3 is going to be the old model 3 within just a couple of months you're probably never going to be satisfied because tesla is constantly and always upgrading their vehicles yes some refreshes are bigger than others but the sooner you kind of come to terms with yourself on it's okay that i don't have the latest and greatest it's okay that there's a new model 3 that came out that's not as good as my model 3 just focus on the money you'll save along the way okay there's literally some model 3s in inventory that after incentives are going to look like sub $30,000 cars and the Model 3 is just a fantastic vehicle. I've loved owning it. Honestly, I don't want to ever sell it. I'm so happy with it currently and I love the charging network. I love the range. I love the charging curve. The seats are super duper comfortable and the software is second to none. No one can touch Tesla software on the market right now and there is a shocking amount of storage space given the size of the Model 3, both in the front and the trunk. You can fold that second row flat and you have all of this additional space in the back. It's just an amazing vehicle and no, some upgraded headlights and some slightly better suspension I don't think is going to be worth spending the additional $8,000 that you're going to have to spend if you want to wait for the Model 3 refresh next year. And again, that's all speculation too. We don't know if the refresh Model 3 is coming out in January, February, March. Depending on how slow Fremont is to upgrade the line, it might not be ready until April or June. That's kind of an indefinite wait and, you know, the interest rates or Tesla's pricing structure could get a lot worse by then we don't know all i know is the model 3s available in inventory right now are basically the cheapest new models i've ever seen and tesla's throwing in amazing perks thanks to the referral program giving you three months of free full self-driving and six months of free supercharging that's just an amazing bargain and i don't think any of you should regret buying that if you end up going through with it but if you're not quite ready to make the plunge keep this in mind as a optimistic view as well when the refresh model 3 drops that will probably decrease the resale value for a lot of existing Model 3s. So if you're holding out on buying a used 2021 Model 3 
perhaps, that still has ultrasonic sensors, because you want Park Assist to work and Smart Summon to actually function, then those prices will probably drop a lot once the refresh Model 3 comes out. You'll be able to get the pre-refresh for maybe under 25000 Also speculative, but I think when there's a big new Model 3 refresh, it kind of pushes down the resale value of the used ones. That's kind of natural. We saw the same thing happen with the Model S and X. So what do you guys think makes the most amount of sense? Are any of you in the buying market right now? Feel free to let me know your situation down in the comments below. And thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly. Seriously, helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos. So thanks again. Have an excellent rest of your day.